today we're going to show you how to make a light bulb with potatoes. So we're not actually making a light bulb, as she said. We're just lighting a light that would be really with potatoes. Cool if we could make this all in a shady garage <laughs> are the ingredients. Some potatoes, copper wire, galvanized nails, a knife, an iPhone, some pennies or a lot of pennies, and some wire cutter. And a light bulb. Step one, cut the potato. Try to cut the smaller end off so that you leave as much potato as you can. Here from the top that so that you can wrap the actual wire part instead of the cover around the nails. Hell yeah! Actual wire part around at least one nail. We only have so many nails, but if you have more, you can wrap around more. We didn't include it in the materials, but if you'd like, you could use some electrical tape to wrap around the open wire. Next, you have to attach the nail into. We're actually using screws, but it's something, yeah. After spending 10 minutes trying to unwrap more wire from the coating, then you have to wrap it in the pennies and put electrical tape around it. This wrapping could also involve just pressing the wire in between two different pennies and then wrapping electrical tape around it. We'll cut another potato and then use your wrapped penny and stick it into the side of the potato. Make sure that there's enough room of the penny not covered by electrical tape to actually drive it into the side of the next potato, like so. Now you're going to repeat this procedure of driving the nail into now this side and the penny into the side of the next one over and over again. The more potatoes that you want to use, the more power you'll have and the more your light bulb that it will be. So it's up to you how many potatoes you want to use. So we're pretty much done, at least with three potatoes. We don't know if this is going to be enough power, but we are going to try to attach these to a little LED light bulb and see what we get. Are you ready? Well, yeah. Okay. Is it not working? Wait, this try is falling on. I don't think it's enough power. Yeah. Let's add potatoes. Now we have twice the potato power with six potatoes, and now we're going to try this light bulb. Nothing. But these are not LED lights, so we're going on an LED hunt so that all our potatoes can work. Alright, so I finally found the LED light, and we're going to try to test it out. Here's on the metal part, my okay. And it's working. It happened for one second. Look at that. Look at that. Look how beautiful. Yay. Woo. Got it to work. So it has to be specific places where the wires touch and you just have to test it out and see where they go. There we go. Look at Yay. that one. Beautiful. Probably not a good idea to be doing this in the thunder. Now we are creating a stand that we're going to put the light on so that whenever you want to light it, it'll be a little bit easier. Stand out of a pencil, and we are now taping one of the wires onto where it goes so that all you have to do is move this little wire onto the bottom. Look, it lights up. Because when you lose power, you'll know that you'll have potatoes mm -hmm. until they rot, and then you'll just have to bake another one. Bake another one? Is that <laughs> make! And there, ladies and gentlemen, is an electric potato light bulb flying machine. <laughs> Try it at home. It's safe. Unless you're in a thunderstorm. Ah! They don't know where this is, Elizabeth. There's no indication of where we live.